All right, thanks for joining us in another video today. Today we're gonna to discuss what's inside a safe and how does it work. There's not a lot, lot to it, but we'll try to make it as entertaining as possible. So this is a, a Holland RG39 gun safe. It's one of the two hour fire rated Holland safes, one of their top of the line gun safes, basically. It's a 39 gun safe. So on the outside, obviously, there's not a lot to talk about. You got your keypad, your spoke handles, your hinges, and then the shell, of course, right? <clears throat> so the keypad though, you have the keypad on the outside and you have a lock pack on the inside and you enter the code, it sends a signal to the lock pack to unlock or throw the bolt or unthrow the bolt. And then that's how, and then you're able to turn the handle and open the safe, right? So <clears throat> let's go ahead and open it up. It's just set to default right now. Okay, so let's open the door up. Okay, so obviously the standard things inside are gonna be your shelves where your shelves which are adjustable you can they're modular you can take them and ship them around you know put these shelves up here there there wherever you want to do it right some of them come with like hardened uh, plates so you can put it over and say hey i want that to be you know uh, solid there instead of a hole there uh, <clears throat> and sometimes the shelves come re uh, reinforced with like steel beams and things like that <clears throat> this one has outlets in it a light kit, as you can see behind the corner here. Um, and then has uh, things like an intumescent seal, which this is a seal right here. It's a little piece of plastic that goes around and basically expands up to seven to eight times the size when it gets you know steam, water, heat, all that kind of stuff. It expands and seals that door really good for you. <clears throat> so these are all pretty standard features the inside of the gun safe, besides all you know your holsters and pockets and things on the doors. So all that's pretty common sense stuff. But I guess the real question is, what's inside the safe door? How does that work? And what kind of security features are in there and things? So let's go, we have another smaller version of the same type of series of safe, which is the Republic series of Holland. We got, this is a 39 gun. We have a 22 gun one over here that I want to show you on. The cool thing about the Republic's uh, safe is also that all four sides, top, bottom, left, right, all four sides of the bolts right here, they come out on the Republic series. Most safes have stationary bolts on the inside right here because when the door closes, the bolts just go behind the frame. But they, they did a little bit better on the ingenuity and engineering of the Republic series and made it to where all four sides retract. Doesn't really help any more security, but it's cool. So anyway, let's go ahead and show you the inside of an RG22. We have the door, we have this panel. Basically, you just remove the screws here, pop the caps off, remove the screws, pull the whole panel off. It's mostly a sheet rock, right? pull that off and then you can see all the inner workings on that. So let's go pick up at the RG22 and I'll show you the inside of that door. All right, now that you've seen the inside of the safe, let's see the inside of the door. So like I said, this is the RG22E. Oh, sorry, got it open, sorry. This is the inside of the door. Okay, now they're not all the same, obviously, they're not different. And what you just heard was the lock relocking. <clears throat> so if I throw the bolts, See how this is in the way? Well, this is the lock pack. This is the wire right here that attaches the keypad on the outside to this lock pack. So when I enter the right code, this is gonna, there's a little thing in here blocks this from moving. It releases that solenoid and then allows me to push the rest of this back and this will move out of the way. So let's just watch that happen real quick. See how that works? And as soon as it gets back to normal, now watch, right? Now I can't lock it and now I can't open it again. <clears throat> so let's talk about these parts. There's only a few that are of significance. Um, anyway, most of them are just the bolts tied to a rail, bolts tied to a rail, bolts, rail, bolts, rail. This one big main gear has a post that grabs all these rails right here, right? And then when I turn the handle, let's do it again. All this turns and pulls in all four. Not very, nothing super crazy in engineering and design. Very easy. <clears throat> it just rotates and pulls all these arms in. Nothing crazy at all, right? Very simple. Now, so you know about the, the keypad on the outside, the lock pack on the inside, all the railing, the bolts, and all that stuff, right? The other main thing is, is this plate right here, this piece right here, and there's a solid plate back here. So <clears throat> these are security features, okay? So basically, this is a relocker plate, which is holding this relocker, which is a spring-loaded steel pin. 
if you notice this plate's holding it here if this plate if i was breaking in and i you know i broke off the keypad and i stuck say like a large screwdriver through the hole where the wire comes through the door and i hammer as hard as i can people try to break in that way and knock this pack off well in the case of someone doing that if they knock this pack off this plate's going to come with it and when it does nothing is going to be holding this pin in place so what happens is if you zoom in right here if this pin drops it'll drop into this hole and then the railing won't be able to open that's why they call it a relocker all right so so anyway yeah so if someone knocks this off which is what it's there for this plate goes with it which the, this whole this beam right here is holding uh this relocker up there's a spring right behind it. you can see the top of it right here there's a spring behind it so as soon as this they stick the screwdriver through and they hammer it and knock this pack off that's going to drop in and that's going to fall into this hole right here and then there'll be a, you know a little post sticking down there so then if they enter the code it doesn't matter it's not coming open regardless so it's kind of like a modern day booby trap kind of thing ish i guess um but it's a relocker is what that's called some of them have glass relockers where it's a piece of glass so as soon as they go and that glass breaks it's already dropping that relocker it's just more sensitive which is usually a little bit more expensive now right back here which maybe we could throw some B-roll up or something. We try to get you some angles of this, but there's a hardened steel plate. I'm gonna turn it sideways. You see that plate right there? This whole piece right there. There's a plate about that wide down to about right here. So from here to here, there's a steel plate. It's a hardened steel plate. And what that's there for is if they decide to break the keypad off and just start drilling, they gotta get to that hardened steel plate. We use special bits. You can't just go get them at Lowe's, Home Depot. You can't even just go get them at Granger either. You gotta, they're really hard to find, actually. We've tried it before. Uh, so we go to our you know, locksmith suppliers and things like that to get these very specific type of bits. And you got to know exactly where to drill and you got to get those hardened steel plates. And sometimes it could take a couple hours just to get that little steel plate and you'll burn up you know, $100 in bits too. But anyway, so you have a hardened steel plate. You have the keypad on the outside, the lock body on the inside the relocker plate, the relocker itself, the railings and bolts, and pretty much that's it besides all the other stuff in the safes. So, that being said, um, and, and just a correction on it, this is the Republic series. They have a special hardened, ste uh, hardened steel plate, which is a ball bearing plate, which is even another step up, forgot about that. So the plate actually has ball bearings in it as well. So bust your bits and good luck getting in there unless you have very particular bits that are made to do that. Um, so anyway, uh, hopefully this shines some light on the inside of safes and how safes work. They're not really that sophisticated. They're pretty simple. It's mostly the sophistication comes in the fire rating, the metals, the gauge in the metals, the intumescent seals, the type of lock, the hardest steel plate, the relockers, you know, the material that's making up the shell, the fire rating, stuff like that. You know, so there's a lot to it, but uh, it's fairly simple how they work. So thanks for tuning in. We appreciate the support as always. We're on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Rumble, Facebook all the social media platforms. We appreciate the support as always. Thanks for tuning in.